It's one of the most complex interchanges in LA. In order to make it, 2,000 homes had to be cleared out. And tonight's look at this, KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw has more about the fascinating and the facts about the East LA interchange. We'll take a look at what just may be the most complicated freeway interchange ever built. It's the East LA interchange, a bit of a misnomer though because it's actually in Boyle Heights and not East Los Angeles. Encompasses more than 135 acres, the confluence of four different freeways, two of which are transcontinental, the 5 and the 10, the 60 and the 101. And it was first built in 1961. Construction lasted a couple of years to build uh, this behemoth. But I got to tell you some of the insane statistics about this interchange I got from Gilbert Estrada of Southern California Quarterly. 32 bridges, 20 walls. The project laid more than 23,000 concrete pipes, used 4 million cubic yards of concrete, 13 million pounds of reinforced steel, and more than a million and a half cubic yards of earth had to be excavated to build this crazy interchange. Now, according to KCRW, uh, one of the darker sites here, more than 2,000 homes had to be destroyed and 15,000 people were displaced to build this. And it's just so crazy. This is maybe one of the only places where the five freeway goes down to just two lanes. It's crazy to think that uh, one of the most important freeways in the country goes down to a mere two lanes. A disaster to try to drive through, Famous KNX traffic reporter Bill Keen was not kidding around when he nicknamed this Malfunction Junction, the dreaded East LA interchange in Boyle Heights. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. Incredible just to think how many homes were there at mm -hmm, one point. Mm -hmm. Well, if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at look at this at cbs.com.